Right, so I really like the kill box here for TNT. Obviously, very solid. They have that min that min Minotaur for the Minoan Fury. They have great crowd control and tankiness with the Barretts. And they got range. I think that... I think it's pretty even, honestly. Especially because Valentin is going to get level 4 anyways. Mm -hmm. So you can copy the Minoan Fury. It's going to be a 50-50. Oh, yeah, let's have a look it. here. Obviously, Nats trying to chip away at the HP of heads here. Turtle is going to be low. All the damage going straight into Demon Ooh. Kite. And it's Ryzen who gets the retribution on the Turtle. Oh, <laughs> Demon Kite underestimating the damage output of TNT. He literally received all of the ultimates. <laughs> Apart from the Barret's ultimate, he received it all. And he died eventually. I, for, you know. So I guess that's Light trying to realize that, you know They're what, I can't going. do those big, big engages just yet. We'll have to wait for a time where Kosei can actually do some de decent bit of damage. They're doing that right now. They are facing off against the Eternal Guard oh. head on. And the fl forward Minoan Fury here actually will knock up a lot of people, but will not result in any deaths here for RSG. They're still going at it. And RSG are the ones who get to uh, Hatred's ultimate. And now they're going to battle here for the third turtle of the game. They're going to feel it out. They go for it. Oh, looks like it's going to be a little bit more of a contestion here happening for RSG. Ooh. But a lot of their skills are actually missing. And now it's going to be a turtle for TNC. And the fight is not going to look pretty for them as well. RSG going to have to Ooh. back oh, off. Whoa. whoa, nice pull back there. And Kusei barely making it out there alive. What happened there? Uh, it was TNC just pouring, one, pouring all of their resources onto one hero. And basically hitting their shots while RC didn't. And qu quietly out there though. Heads is slowly racking up the items and later on he will be almost unkillable by RSG. Yeah, oh, looking right really now. good right now. They're fighting under this turret wow. and Nat has no way to maneuver out of there. Light actually is not that tanky. Where's the damage gonna come from here for RSG? Looks oh. like they're gonna be a five man. Wow. Minoan Fury make that six alongside the Eternal Guard. And the damage is very, very subtle here, but it's making its mark for RSG. Still going, they get the double on Super Yoshi. What a set from Whoa. Aqua. Doing really well so far. Light's got the information here that they need. The rest of TNC wants to get in this zone, but also look at the bottom side, the pressure. This is what Naz loves to do. So he'll go ahead and clear that out, but already pushing for the Lord. I don't know why, but TNC are barreling through this HP of this Lord here, but they are going to be suffering from a setup as well from the Minoan Fury of Aqua, and now it's going to be a bit of a 50-50 here on the Lord take. Both jugglers oh. are low, and it's going to be Ryzen on top, wow, but no it is Nomad who takes that Lord. Oh, he's unleashing the demon right now, but look at the top side now. Oh, it's the double. The cleanup. The cleanup. Who say stepping on that, on the uh -huh. so called teamwork? So he, no more purify for him, so now they're going to work with that. Nav's coming that's... in from the back side, though. They have to be careful about displacement. Hatred. Oh, hatred. Oh, he was such in a problematic oh. state here. He was able to walk out here, and of course, th that's going to be leaving. Uh, both Super Yoshi and Nomad here to deal with him. And that's, he gets his prize in the end. Nomad's falling as well. It is an utter disaster wow. for TNC. Oh, oh Kose still going to chase him down too. Heads oh. and Super Yoshi. Yeah, he, not even the Minotaur is tanky enough to sustain against this Roger anymore. And RSG, they just feeling it. What? A masterpiece that was of a team fight, especially with the pressure from Naz there. And that will take game number one for wow. RSG against TNC. Nats, in that last exchange, he said, welcome to my channel. And this is my <laughs> unboxing video. Because he literally destroyed the box of TNC with just one move. First, the threat. Yep. You saw that he revealed himself. Hatred did not know what to do, and probably Hatred is actually, you know, dragging his map away from Vision because he, he went the glue route. So this is probably all right. Yep. Option number two, For sure. take the bandana. We didn't get the glue and, and work with that because essentially, guys, this is still the same thing that Naz likes to do, right? He likes exactly. to put pressure around the map just like we saw him do with the Paquito in the last game. So with that Roger pressure, Yasuo on the other hand too, we've seen him perform before. So hopefully this might be an answer for TNC here. Demon yeah, Kite though. Hopefully he's not a meta behind right now. It's going to be Demon Kite suffering from the hands. Like this time, Yoshi is taking so much damage. Ooh. Oh, everyone's going to get hit here. Obviously with oh the Astro God. Recalls. Knockups are happening left, right, and center. It's going to be like going down though. That is a huge frontline removed from RSG. And that will signal the RSG members to fall back.
Great fight there for TNC Ooh, again. The amount of damage can come from like a Terizla yeah. and the, the Baksha. Nash was torn below half there. Exactly. Right now they gotta work for this turtle here. It's gonna go out. Beast started up already. Both teams go. Heads is very Ooh. low, but that is a crucial Ooh. penalty zone activated here by Heads. Now it's gonna be whether or not RSG wants to go for it, and Ryzen is gonna be the first on the red tree. He's got that available to him, and, and really for Nats, it's not about the early game. It's more so about that mid to late game pressure. Yeah, but speaking of pressure, look at Super Yoshi. He's having a hard time getting out of the grip Ooh. of RSG, and he's gonna go down, but not without some revenge wow. from his teammates. Oh, yeah. And oh. great fluidity for TNT. And, and while everyone was so busy, obviously there's oh. gonna be a fight happening. Oh my goodness, I don't think they expected Nats to be behind them! And now it is gonna be one by one members of TNC shuffling and you know basically just crumbling to the pressure of RSG. Nats again. And they let again Nats just kind of do the work on these side lanes. So TNC wants to answer, they get a flicker out. I mean, it's been a while since TNC actually got anything on the map, and that's because of that. Oh. They will try to take some fights here just to maybe get an advantage, and they are making people and bodies wow. fly up onto the air, but Super Yoshi is going to be suffering because of that. Now, Heads, he is going to be retribution. He is super duper slow now, but some good damage coming in from RSG means that Heads oh. might be in trouble. Now, he's going to be canceling okay. up on the Electro Final Blow, but Chase still on. Crusade trying Ooh. to get his way, and he got the head. Jinxed Jinxed the moment. Yep. Jinxed it. He wasn't interested earlier, but he was interested now. And so, <laughs> RSG takes down the mid turret. Are they going to end That's the game true. here? Oh, man. It's 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 going to be a very difficult defense here. Ryzen, again, Ooh. just not as tanky as you think he is. It's even Super Yoshi. Even if you set that up, there's just no damage to be had. With close range available, it's going to be RSG with a 2-0 against TNC. The Raiders, once again, find themselves with a decisive victory here against TNC. They made it look very, very clean. And very, again, this is how the Raiders like to play. But they actually read through the weakness of TNC. Ooh. One of the things that I noticed in week number two when TNC lost against Echo was map control. Yeah. And this was definitely the game that you look at where TNC's weaknesses were blown wide open. Literally, winning all of the fights, but losing the map meant that they did not, they, they just lost their formation. And that's also hap what happened in game number one because of what Nats did. And this is definitely the weakness of TNC.